G'day. How's, how you going? Before we get into the video, I just want to make a quick shout out to Ezekiel Reardon and Kiana Gorbani. They got the answer right for the cryptic message in last week's video. So well done. So we've been reacting to some strange people. So I thought I'd bring it back. Yeah, I would reconnect with you guys. So I asked you guys to send through some of the craziest stories you had to offer, and I'd react to them. We'll just have to have a look and see how you guys did. Might as well stop fart assing around and get into it. So back in high school, we were getting drunk at my buddy's place in his garage, and he was telling us how much of a prick his neighbor was. So my other buddy, who was high as Bruh. had the great idea to go take a shit in the neighbor's well. Leave it up to the high bloke to come up with the great ideas. That's, that's where you went wrong to start off with. After almost falling to his death, he finished the job. It's a job, you know, nine to five. Forget working in an office, working at Coles, yeah, packing groceries. What do you do for your job? Shitting in wells. It was only three days later that we found out that both the neighbor and my buddy's house shared the same well. Throughout this video, uh, I'm gonna do a uh, that's cat meter. You guys still say that, don't you? Ooh, capity, cap, 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 cap. Oh, you're telling a lie. Cap, 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 cap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, just go if I think a story's capping. I just go go cap. Good story. I like it. You guys, you guys are delivering today. I see. This is really disgusting, but it's the craziest thing that's happened to me, in my opinion. Better be good then. So one time, me and my cousin were in my backyard when I had to take a shit. It's all about shit, isn't it? All about shit with you guys. It's a shit show. We tried opening the doors, but they were locked. What does that mean? Like they're, they are, they're either locked or they're not. We've run out of food. Where's all the food gone? We ate it. I decided that I couldn't hold it any longer, so I took a shit in my backyard. Me and my cousin thought it was funny. I was nine and she was twelve. Okay, fair enough. Nine years old, taking a shit in the backyard. Fair enough. Until my dog started walking towards it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. He did something awful. He ate it. No shit. Well, not now, because it's in the dog. I started crying because I thought that he was gonna die. Well, what have you been eating? We started banging on the doors to get someone to notice us. So now you bang on the door. Why weren't you banging on the door when a turtle head was poking out? Unbelievable. My mum came rushing in and told me that it didn't matter. It's all good because my dog lived another five years after that. It took five years to kill him? What have you been eating? I'm not going to give that a cap. I believe that. There's something about it that's so poorly thought out and something a nine-year-old would do. So that is, that's not cap. Puh. Can we get away from the sick, rude stuff? It's, ugh. The first two ones, shit and shit. Oh, fuck. I'm saying cap for legal reasons, for your reasons. I'm 20 and recently had my first kiss. Not judging. Nothing wrong with that. We were drinking a lot. Keep in mind that I'm from South Africa and the legal drinking age is 18. So I decided that it would be perfect to get in the jacuzzi. All right, I've got a jacuzzi. <laughs> so I got in and the guy stood outside talking to me and came in for a kiss, as you do. Sitting there in a jacuzzi, having a lovely time. How's your night been? Been good? Uh, um, hey, is, it, is it hot? Things started to get heated between us. Probably the jacuzzi. <laughs> you lean in. <laughs> Does. Never mind. When we heard something weird. That's weird. We looked to the side only to see our neighbours, two boys staring at us, busy jerking off. So we shout at them and proceed to put a huge thing on the wall so they can't see us. And as things started heating up again, sitting there, trying to be romantic, look over. Two guys, flogging off. What do you do? Put a huge thing on the wall, for one. What's that? Two, I don't know if I will go back to doing that. I don't know, might just be me. But I don't think I could get in the mood watching two dudes jerking off over me. And the other, not, it's not all about me. So it wouldn't be just jerking off over me. And not over me either, that's a bit... 
N not that there's anything wrong with being gay. As things started heating up again, my mum comes out of the house and demands that I get out of the jacuzzi. I wonder what she was thinking. Was she thinking, oh, this isn't happening in my house. Get out. Or was she looking out for the blokes over the road saying, come on, get up with the finger show. Oh. I get out, slip on the tiles and fall face first into a root. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> into the roots of a palm. As I was falling, a glass bottle shattered on the ground and the guy steps in glass cutting his foot open. I have a huge concussion and broken nose and the guy needs to go get some stitches. Was he jerking off that hard? Here we go, we've been waiting for this. Aussie story right here. It was crocodile season and we were at the beach, cat. Correct me if I'm wrong, but crocodiles at the beach. Oh yeah, just having a nice sunbake, all of a sudden the Bruh. monster comes out. We also went streaking, cat. You know, as you do. Okay. Oh, just streaking, you know, as you do. Around big crocodiles. Just streaking, you know, as you do. And we saw a big crocodile and my mate started pushing me towards the crocodile as if I was going to fight it. And at that moment, I thought he was a Bruh. idiot. Oh, I'd have to agree with you. I mean, get rid of the word mates because I don't know a mate that would push you towards a Bruh. crocodile. I'm getting really tired of these fake stories, guys. I know it's entertainment purposes, but I want true, real stories. Like this one. I got arrested in Mexico for robbing a dildo off a stripper in a strip club. Brilliant. Fantastic story, number one. Two, you can tell is true with the Mexico and uh, the stripper in a strip club. The cooperation, well done, thank you. It's what I was after. This one's a video, it's not a message, so I don't know what to expect. That is the embodiment of the word defeat. <laughs> One time, I bought a cameo from you for my boyfriend for Christmas. Well, th see, that's where you went wrong already. I can tell it's gonna go to shit because of that. And the day after Christmas, he broke up with me. The end. Bruh, check cameo. Oh, it's true! It is! Oh. Not a very good advertisement for my cameo, is it? Unless you want to get rid of your significant other, then link in the description. Here is one for you. My ex-best friend, well, the ex-best friend sort of is that a hint of what's to come? Slept at a guy's house after we had a big night out. Oh, horny, horny. S a bit of slap and tickle. They both woke up the next morning and there was a shit on the floor. He assumed it was the dog and cleaned it up, but little did he know it was her. I used to eat snails when I was next. We, next. We were bushwalking when my brothers and I decided to prank my fat cousin. Lovely isn't it? And pretend something was chasing us. It clearly wasn't your fat cousin. <laughs> He's not chasing anything. Except diabetes. Harsh. Don't even know him. We started sprinting and screaming and because he was a chunky fella, <laughs> God, it just keeps getting better. He was hella slow and he got scared and literally what him... What him slef? What him sl I'm guessing that's meant to be wet himself. When we got home, mum wouldn't let him in the house. And we hosed him off in the front yard in front of all the neighbours. You're kidding. Treating him like a farm animal. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. So when I was in year 10, we had a school camp. And while we were there, we caught this weird dude. Is it another one of them? He's not actually weird. I take it back. I, the, one of the boys forgot something for our night walk and decided to go back to the cabin where he accidentally walked in on and saw the grotty little wanker filling our socks on the top bunk. More like on the top spunk. <laughs> My friend only knew what he was doing because the wanker threw the sock on the floor and it made a splatting sound. You guys make me feel physically ill. Something, you, you guys weren't raised properly. You guys. All right, we'll finish it here. We'll finish it here, last one. Make it a banger. Make it something that we can all leave happy on. Please, a happy story. We haven't had any happy stories. We've had shit, jizz, and jacuzzis. One kid at my school was nicknamed the Stallion. Who wouldn't want to be named the Stallion? Big and strong, fast. Because he was caught multiple times flogging to horse porn at school. 